So, Ray Winston, good mm. to see you. Who is Jimmy Rose then? What's the story? Uh, Jimmy Rose is kind of like a mixture of a lot of people I met when I was a kid, really. And they're still around today, you know. Um, when I first read the script, I thought, oh, it's another Ray Winston coming out of prison movie, I suppose. <laughs> and, uh, and then it was Adrian Shergold, who I've worked with four or five times before, who's a great director. And so then you get interested in the script, because you know he's going to go to work on it and he's going to make something kind of special, you know? Mm. And after reading the script, you realise... I didn't read the second one and the third one, because we only had the first one at the time, which was good, because I knew Adrian would get hold of that and mess that around a bit. And um, just thought there was something interesting there we could do about the older man today. In a way, it's, it's great working with a mate because you're kind of a bit telepathic about a scene and when you're working, but then you've got to kiss them. Oh. It's all right when you haven't met the bird before and, you, you know, <laughs> you can have a kiss and you haven't got to talk about it too much. But when it's a mate and you know the husband and all that, it can be a little That's bit tricky. tricky. Yeah. I you'd, would be, find... you'd be OK with that, No, you? Yeah. he know. always... He knows. Yeah. I would find that really hard. What I loved about the, the, the script and the story and the way um, Adrian wanted to do it was... Um, it kind of starts off a bit like Sexy Beast, in a way. You think you're going to get a, a comedy. Mm -hmm. You know, I come out of prison, I'm singing a song and all that, and it's a little bit... And um, it kind of goes dark all of a sudden, you know, and it's one of the kids uh, drawn into the drug world, and it's a man who can't get out of the, the world he's been in, you know, because he's moved on. You know, these old blaggers, a lot of them have gone into the drug game mm -hmm. because it's... Easier, well, here's I what I want to ask you about um, moving on. Um, yeah. uh, you're an internationally acclaimed actor. You're in movies. Um, you know, you can. You seem to us, the viewing public, to be able to, to pick and choose whatever you want. Mm. And some people may say, they may say, what's he? What's he doing TV for? Sometimes that's the best scripts, and you're working with the best people. Um, with TV, I think it goes through a process of people reading it. Uh, who seem to know what they're doing. By the end of it, you've got something that's worthwhile doing, you know, and... Um, and have you got and to the stage? And it's great to be at home, you're staying at home. Yeah, well. I was going to say, have you got to the stage where you can say, I don't want to do that because I don't want to go abroad, I want to be it's, at home. It, it sounds a bit blasé about it, because yeah. last year I, I, I was out of the country about eight months, mm. you know, and I went from sort of going all around Italy, and uh, which is fantastic, uh, to Venezuela, Tahiti, now, is this and my mates go, oh, that's fantastic, yeah. I love it. Yeah. But at yeah. the end of it, you go, I yeah. just want to go home now. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a philosophy about how you would see Ray Winston or, or what sort of parts you would never see Ray Winston do? No, I don't. And maybe that's my downfall, I don't know, but... Uh, no, I think every part you play should be important. I don't always treat it as important as it should do, you know, because I get bored. If you didn't do what you did, mm. and you think of Jimmy Rose, and you think of Jimmy Rose coming mm. out of jail and mm. an ordinary guy, his life went wrong, but anyway, he's Jimmy Rose, that's, mm. what, that's what he did. If you weren't Ray Winston mm. being the actor, mm. um, what do you think? Do you ever think what life would be or who you would be in life? Yeah, I'd try to think about it, but I don't know what else I could do. Now, you know, maybe when I was younger, I'd have gone off on a different route and, and done something else, but I could never see myself doing a nine to five. And, I, you know, to me, they're the bravest people in the world. They get up in the morning, get on a train at 5 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock in the morning, go to work, you know, to feed their kids. And a job that not all the time they enjoy doing, you know. <laughs>